Should I keep it light? Stay out of the fight. No one's gonna listen to me. Hi guys, it's Erp here and in today's video I'm gonna show you guys how you can make that effect that you just saw in the intro. If you only wanna make that split effect, you don't need any plugins at all, but if you wanna make the glow along around the split and the effect that comes after the split, you will have to have the universe plugins and the software plugins. I will leave a link in the description to a download link and a tutorial so you can download them absolutely for free. But that's basically all I have to say and now we can get right into the video. So the first step is to sync up the clip with the music. How to do that is press on the music, find the beat you want the kill to happen on. So I want it to happen on this beat so I will press M on my keyboard and you will see that the marker pops up. Then you go to the shot of impact on your clip, so click on your clip. Then you find the first frame where you see those where it does appear in your crosser. So this is the first frame that appear, they appear. Press M on your keyboard, that will put on a marker. Then turn on this magnet tool and it should be really easy for you to just slip it in and you can watch it through and see that it's perfectly synced. I see it's perfectly synced. Now we need to do some time mapping. How to time map is uh, press on the clip, press Ctrl R, then the return controls will open up. What you need to do is to add the speed point on the shot of impact. As I said, that's the first frame with red dust appear. Press on this arrow, press add speed point. Then you need to go 30 frames to the left. So, so this is about 30 frames to the left. Right here you need to press on the arrow again. Press add speed point and then about in the middle, you don't need to be exact, add the speed point. So you should have three speed points like this in a row. So what you're gonna do now is on the first gap right here, press on the arrow, change speed to 50. You might need to zoom in a bit to see those arrows, but yeah. Then on the second gap, you need to press on it, change speed to 200%. And what we need to do now, we need to do so this last speed point is lined up with those three markers. So how we're gonna do that, we are not gonna play around with the two on the sides. It's important to only play around with the, that in the middle. So we'll drag this to the left until that we see that this speed point is lined up with the three markers. So now if you look, it should be synced and turn out. Yeah, it's perfect time mapped and if you want you can even add a little slow-mo, so add speed point wherever you want. Press on the R change speed to 50% and it should look like, I feel like this looks... So now we're basically done with time mapping and all of that stuff. So we can close the return controls now. So now we're gonna do the build up. So how to do that is uh, find a shot of impact again, as I said that's where the red does appear. Press on the clip, press Ctrl B, that will split the clip there. Then you need to go 25 steps frames to the left. You can use your arrow keys on your keyboard to do that, so 25 step frames to the left. So. This is exactly 25 frames, we'll press Ctrl B again on the clip. What we'll do now is we'll press on the clip that is in the middle of these two big clips, hold ALT and drag it up. That will basically make a copy right above so it, nothing will change, it will be exactly the same thing. So what, so what you're gonna do to the clip above is press on this, right click on it, press new compound clip, just press create and you can press on it again and then press Ctrl R. That will open the return controls again. So what you need to do now is go to the last frame of this clip. So basically that's right here. Press on this arrow again and press freeze frame. Be sure that your red cursor is exactly on the last frame of the clip. So press freeze frame and you will see it gets much longer and this is basically just a photo. So we're gonna split right between these red things and the blue things. So if you haven't played around with the red cursor, your red cursor should be exactly in between them. So you should be able to just press Ctrl B and that will be split. You can delete this clip right now. Now just drag this to here so it fits. Then you just shorten it down so it's 
exactly as long as the clip below. So what you're gonna do now is press on the clip above, then you go to the color tab, and in the color tab press on the circle with for the dots, then you press on the slot pencil or what it is, so it's a red line around it. Then basically what you're gonna do is outline the character, the gun and everything. So basically how you do that is just click around it. So use your mouse to just click, click, and basically just mask it and create the outline on the character. Try to be very precise and do it very good because it will look so much cleaner if you do it precise and good. So. Yeah, just do this. I'll see you when I'm done. And I forgot to say, if you do anything wrong, just press Ctrl Z and it will go back to its latest state. So if you do something bad, just press Ctrl Z. And basically, when you are made the whole outline, you just press on either those dots and it should yeah, become a mask. You can always play around with these dots by just dragging them. But I'm pretty happy what, with what I have made. So what I will do right now is go to these nodes. If you don't see them, if it's like this for you, just press on the nodes tab right here. And this should pop up. Then just right click anywhere. Press add of output. Then you just drag this to this and you should see that it gets transparent. What you're gonna do now, you can go back to the edit tab and you're gonna do, you're gonna find the frame where you see that this clip is synced up with the clip below. So as you see here, it's double, but here, right here, it's perfectly synced. So we'll go to video and press these three keyframes so everything gets keyframed. So what you're gonna do now is basically press on the clip again and hold ALT and drag it up so you create a copy of the clip down below so you don't need to mask the character again because you will see that yeah the masking already done on the copy so what you're gonna do the copy should be keyframed too so what you're gonna do to the copy is um, go to the first frame it's up here so right here keyframe that and drag it as much as you can to the left until you can't see it just so it disappears, I drag it out. What you're gonna do now to the clip below is just press on it, keyframe again the first frame it appears, and just drag it to 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 the right as much so it don't you can't see it. And because of you had the keyframe in the last frame of the, it, it should yeah meet up like this. So. So guys, as you see, it looks really, really good. So if you want to make some, if you want, you can add some ecto to this so it's like a RGB outline on it and I will show you how to do this. For this, you will have to have the universe plugins. I will leave a link to it in the description, but yeah, it can make it so much cleaner. So you decide, but I will make it just so you can see how to do it. Press on the one highest, Create new compound clip, press create. Then on the one below, new compound clip, create. Be sure that before you do anything, this sh the keyframing should be done. So it should look like this. So what you're gonna do now is go to open FX, search up uni dot uni dot ecto, and this should pop up. Drag it in both of these, and you should see that it blue outline. You can like leave it like this, but I don't want to make that because I wanted to make a little bit special. So what I will be making, I will make it totally just white. I feel like that will be really cool. So like this, I'll drag the distraction to zero on both of them. And you'll see that, yeah, you can make the glow into C. Yeah, play around with it yourself. I'll make it something like this. But it's personally just play around with these three and find what you think looks good. But I think this looks really good. As you see, guys, it looks really fire. So, 
you can make uh, the clip below lower the up to see or something so it pops out a little bit more but it's totally up to you but i will do a really quick effect so when the kill happens so you just drag in in the effect an adjustment clip like this drag in um this sapphire plugin so such up s underscore shake drag in the shake on the adjustment clip if it's load presets you can copy this when i'm done here so basically just copy all of these Settings you can pause the video, do whatever you want. Yeah, copy all of these. Yeah, as you see, guys, just copy it. Then, what you need to do is basically just press save preset. Then, you can start doing the keyframing. So, what you need to do is keyframe the amplitudes on the first frame of when you see the effect and go 15 frames to the right. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 15, so right here 15, key from it to amplitude again and drag it down to zero. And you should have a little clue like this. And if you want you can make a little go back so 10 frames before key from the opposite. Right here key make it like 50. Go to this, make it 52 and You'll have this pretty cool. And that's basically the whole tutorial. So if you enjoyed the video, if you like it, and if it helped you in any shape or form, drop a like, drop a sub, and comment any tutorial ideas. And yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next video.